This is Bob. Bob always comes prepared. He has a steady job at a refrigerator company. He never votes Democrat, and he always finds time to play ball with his son. This is Communist Joe. Communist Joe does not support our American capitalist way of life. He does not buy into the very same electronics and home appliances that allow our great economy to thrive. He is also a vegetarian. It's because of people like Mr. Communist here that wars were invented. So, let's see how Bob and Joe fare when solving a simple stoichiometry equation. Bob always remembers that in order to solve equations such as this, he must convert grams to moles to moles to grams. Good job, Bob. Joe here goes from grams to grams to moles to moles to feet to inches to sopas. <laughs> Good try, Joe. Let's see if Bob's technique can straighten you out. Bob's super duper simple technique is no more than a simple unit conversion. Just as you regular hard working Americans convert gallons to fluid ounces, grams of X can be converted to grams of Y. Given grams of X is way on the left. Next to it, one mole X is over the grams of X. Next is the stoichiometric ratio, the moles of Y over the moles of X. Last, the grams of Y are over one mole of Y. When the total of the top is divided by the total of the bottom, you will have your answer. Now, using the previous example, the conversion should look like this. Does this make sense now, Joe? Duh. No. Duh. <laughs> uh, can't teach a communist, I guess. <laughs>